The tapping of her high heels is what woke me up every morning. She was kind of intimidating with her immaculate makeup, her pulled back hair, and her tailored double-breasted blazer. I would have liked to hold her hand when we were walking down the street, but she was always carrying a leather briefcase in one hand while she was screaming fancy words at a heavy brick mobile phone she was carrying on the other one. I never asked them much, but my parents knew I really, really wanted a sibling. A brother, actually. My brother would be the kind of brother who would play excellent football, and he would take me to matches with him. So that one day, Mama finally said, Ika, you're going to be a big sister. Oh, I was so happy. I ran around school telling everybody. I told the teachers, my friends, the principal, the cleaning lady, the maintenance guy. Everyone was excited for me. Um, all the kids were screaming, happy, but the parents seemed a little bit somber. In fact, one day, my friend's mom hugged me and said, I'm glad you won't be by yourself. Weird. 
That same week, Mama baked my favorite bizcochos, which she hardly ever made because Papa was not a big fan of them. She heated water for mate, very important, and she sat me down on the porch. And then she said, Hija, hear me out. Argentina is in a delicate socioeconomic situation. There are riots, banks are in lockdown, we're heading into a deep recession. I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> Papa lost his job, and not just him, his entire team got fired. I did understand that part. She continued, even my art gallery is closing down operations in Argentina. But the good news is we're being acquired, and they're giving me the option to take a job in the United States. So we have to move abroad. Wait, so what's the good news? If it were just us three, she continued, we could try and make it work, but with a baby on the way, we cannot afford to try. We have to take this opportunity. And so we packed our entire lives in a few suitcases, and we threw one last asado, a barbecue, with my 33 primos, my 12 tias y tios, we said goodbye to mi abuela, we danced, we exchanged farewell letters, and we ate until we couldn't move anymore. We all gathered around the TV to watch Maradona play the Sunday football all together one last time. He scored. And so with the smell of grilled meat still stuck in my ponytail, we hopped on a plane for the very first time. When we arrived in New York City, Mama was truly excited. This is her perspective. Starting a new day, just got to JFK. Scared, fresh off the plane. Leaving all behind, we're carrying all we've got. Passport and cash in hand. Not You're gonna meet your American accent coach. We now know how well that went. <laughs> Everything was changing so fast. Thursdays, I was probably the only kid in 
in New York taking banjo lessons. That's how American my parents wanted me to be. our place. She made it look easy, but I later found out that her first experience at the U.S. Department of Labor wasn't exactly a smooth one. Uh, would you help me out? Sure. Yes, yes. Okay, so you will be the officer at the Department of Labor, and I will be mi mamá. You go. Uh, next. Ah, hola. Hi. Hello. How can I help you? Yes, uh, social security number. Yeah, what is it? No, no, I'm here to get my social security number. All right, uh, what's your name? Maria Gutierrez Fernandez del Prado. M-A-R-A, -A. no, I... You can just write it down, there. Yeah. depends on. Okay, here you go. Victory. Yes. Victoria? Victoria, that's good. Like, victory, but not quite. You know, you can call me Maria, Mary, whatever, it's fine. No, 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 if it's Victoria, it's Victoria. Oh, wow, how modern. Yeah, uh, my mom is Venezuelan. She wanted to call me Luis Alfonso Felipe Reyes after <laughs> her grandfather. Uh, she was a client's guest in the... So, what's your name? Billy. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry, you know. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, just, can I see your papers? I'll need the letter from your yes. employer, the permit. Absolutely. I will have all of that as soon as I have my social security number. Wait, you will not get a number without a job offer. No, no, no. Joe, I have. Just not the permit 
yet. Wait, you've been working without a social security number? No, no, senor, of course, no, no, of course not. Oh. Me and my family and the baby on the way, we all just arrived from Argentina. You know, South America? Oh, that's uh, near Brazil, right? No, next to it. Oh. You know, I'm gonna work at an art museum. It's actually not too far from here. They told me to come here to this office see you and get my social security number and everything would be sorted. You know what, let's just, just come back with a letter of employment, your work permit, which I'm sure you have. Yeah, of course, no, but uh, I, I need that. Next. Mama had a particular way of dealing with stress. Biscochos, straight from the oven, biscochos calentitos, come, come to the kitchen, come to get them. Usually, Mama would push me into having American breakfast, aka bacon and eggs. So I found it kind of strange when one morning she woke me up with fresh baked bizcochos. Did I say how much I love bizcochos con dulce de leche? Dios mío, they're amazing. But that morning, Mama and Papa were having what looked like a serious conversation. Mama said, Hija, I'm not going to the office today, not tomorrow. Um, I had an argument with my boss and I decided to leave. Argument was code for sexual harassment. Asked to leave really meant she was fired. So naturally, I asked Mama, Mama, we're going back home. No, hija, this is home now. I'll make it work. Don't worry. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get the papers. I was just telling Papa how el vecino Ricardo told me how he got his papers with his arts diploma. I can do the same thing with my arts diploma, with my paintings. I'm going to figure it out. Getting the paperwork needed to stay in the country only requires a few simple steps.
This deck is not sponsored by FedEx. Although, it could be. Show them the money! Give some treats! It's not written anywhere and there's no guarantee that it works. But in the end, we all pray. And Mama slowly transitioned from the pantsuit to the tracksuit. I started to make my own breakfast so she could sleep in a little bit longer. And the house got quieter once the phone stopped ringing. She was getting heavier, so she was dragging her feet around the house. If you ever doubt that people change, me, Mama, Miss Always Put Together, went straight from high heels to Crocs. <laughs> I knew things were not going well when I overheard Mama whispering the following.
With no papers and no job in sight, I could feel the tension rise in the house. Mama would meet with friends and friends of friends, hoping that someone would give her a chance. She was well aware that Papa's and my documentation relied on hers. And on top of everything, Mama's belly kept growing and growing, not because of all the bacon we were eating, but because she was due really soon. art at a farmer's market when they had to rush to the hospital. Hija, come, meet your baby sister. I had dreamed about this moment for so long, but I hadn't imagined it would be without mi abuela, without mis tíos y primos to celebrate with. And I especially didn't expect it to be a girl, an American girl. Do you want to hold her? No, I did not want to hold her. This baby now represented everything that was wrong with my family. Every move that had pushed us farther away from my hometown, away from my big Argentinian family, and away from the loving house we used to share in Ushuaia. I was determined to ignore this baby. But there's a problem with that. Babies, they're cute. I don't know if you ever try ignoring something cute, but it's kind of hard. <laughs>
went by, I found myself bonding with my sister. <laughs> she would say things like, we can watch your telenovelas after we're done with my sitcoms, okay? <laughs> like me, she speaks in centigrades and kilograms. For Dios sake, who measures in feet anyway? She's a terrible cumbia dancer, but she's an awesome, awesome football player. Yeah, because of her, I use the word awesome a lot. She would come home from school and ask me stuff like, so what you're saying is that reggaeton is kind of like Latin American hip hop? So Selena is like Lauren Hill? Oh, I can answer whatever I want. I'm her big sister after all. And well, I soon discovered the benefits of having a younger sister. Sister, could you do me a little favor? getting a divorce. As Papa packed his suitcase, this is what Mama told him.
set free the idea of Malbec every night with dinner. Nothing to worry about, but she just did. <laughs> and she would play the same CD over and over again. Girls, Maria Carey, I love Maria Carey. She knows what she's singing about. I will never get tired of Maria Carey. That year, Mama spent a ton of money on Mariah Carey's merch. Hijas, <laughs> she would always say, Remember that the glass can be half full or half empty. It's up to you to top it up with more vino. <laughs> Probably not the best advice for a couple of teenagers, but hey, she had a point. No bizcochos were spared when Mama told us that Papa was actually moving to Ushuaia. My sister immediately cried, Papa is leaving home? Well, I wondered, Papa is going back home? And should I move back with him? Football, 
which I would love to rewatch if I could only find a device in which to play it. As I'm going through all this stuff, she takes out an envelope. She gets it slowly, really taking her time. There's even one small tear crawling through her cheek. Very dramatic, quite Latin American. I am so proud. <laughs> And then she says, I think this letter is from Abuela, mainly because it says, Con Amor, Abuela. Um, I was about to read it, but it's sealed. I would have used steam to open it and then seal it back, but I know that somehow you would have noticed, so I didn't do anything. Her obsessive quest to clear her tracks, Dios mío, this is a Latina blooming in front of me. So I take the envelope off her hand and I stare at it. The last time I saw Abuela was all those years ago in Ushuaia when we were living. And there are many things I remember about that last day. The smoke of the meat being grilled in the barbecue. Papa yelling at the football players on TV. Mama swaying by the turntable with me tios. But I do not remember mi abuela giving me a letter. I must have put it away. So, I take it. And I open it. And this is a tango. Abuela wrote the lyrics of a tango. It says, Adios, pampa mia. Me voy, me voy a tierras extrañas. Adiós, caminos que he recorrido. Ríos, montes y cañadas. La tierra donde he nacido. Si no volvemos a vernos, tierra querida, quiero que sepas que al irme dejo la vida, me voy, dejo la vida y me voy. Adiós, dejo la vida y me voy. And then it hit me. My sister had never met Abuela. And just as I didn't feel like I belonged here, she didn't feel like she belonged back home. She was looking for my permission to read the letter and with that to get a glimpse of Abuela, of La Familia, of us. I'm sorry, I told her. I let the walls in my head get tighter and tighter until there was no room to consider how you might feel. And my sister's eyes were bright and weary and she said, I'll probably never fully understand your experience. You're right, seeing your whole world vanish with everything in it. But I have my world too, you know, and you are a part of it. So if you have to leave, leave. I get it. You don't have to treat me like a child anymore. But stop saying that you don't belong here, because here includes me. I never saw my sister speak her mind like this. Then she added. It's
My sister's confidence was contagious. When did she become this grown-up? You are the 2.0 version of me. We hug and, and she whispers, I'm like Messi to Maradona. Oh, she's pushing it. <laughs> I had been so stuck glorifying the past that I completely missed that my biggest wish had already been granted a long, long time ago. It was never about having a sister. It was about being one. Going back home wouldn't bring back the home I had already left. I could go to the same old address, but I would only be greeted by memories. So 